Uh, next up, we have Dimitri Mimi um, talking about Beta NYC's mapping for equity on OpenStreetMap, giving a project update on that. Um, I see you're on screen. Um, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll just switch over, share. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay, so welcome everyone. Um, hello, I'll be sharing with you today a bit of what some of us are doing here in NYC, the Mapping for Equity on OpenStreetMap project by Beta NYC. As a brief intro, my name is Dimitri, and I'm a Civic Innovation Associate here at Beta NYC. We're a civic tech organization based in New York City. We're 10 people strong, with six full-time staff and four awesome hourly associates. Here at Beta NYC, we have three main camps. The fellowship, where we build up college students to be well-rounded civic tech professionals through thematic projects, including the Mapping for Equity project I'm sharing with you all today. Our lab, which is a civic data help desk through which we take in and address the data needs of various stakeholders, ranging from elected officials to fellow nonprofits. And we also participate in hosting a variety of public programs in NYC's civic tech space, including Open Data Week a yearly festival of events themed around open data and our very own yearly School of Data conference. So that's us. This presentation is brought to you specifically by the fellowship team, where a staff of three oversees seasonal cohorts of interns or fellows, including the two cohorts pictured here. Our fellows are truly the body of our work, and they help us to both test and develop the Mapping for Equity project and its attached toolkit. Now let's talk about mapping for equity. Like what even is mapping for equity on OpenStreetMap? <laughs> in short, the mapping for equity project is an effort to map public use features and amenities on OpenStreetMap in order to increase the visibility of these features in a public database and eventually spark the creation of more equitable open spaces. Our biggest goal is to refine our mapping workflows, curriculum, and tools applied so far into a public space mapping toolkit that can be shared widely with others. This would empower diverse stakeholders, including advocacy groups, conservancies, and elected officials to recreate this work within their local spaces and to use their findings to advocate for more equitable open space. To pilot this project, we had to take a few preliminary steps. First, we recruited a workforce through experiential education programs funded primarily by the City University of New York, or CUNY, we then identified locally grounded project partners in the North Wilkin Parks Alliance and Council District 34, which narrowed our area of focus to the overlap of Council District 34 and Community District 1 in North Brooklyn, which actually falls into the lower 9% of NYC districts in terms of free open space, making it a very suitable space for us to pilot this project. We then had to develop a workflow for fellows to map assets effectively and created a comprehensive site mapping schedule. After familiarizing themselves with field papers, spreadsheets, and learning to use OpenStreetMap, our fellows spent a majority of their time canvassing assets in person in the field, followed by then importing their assets virtually onto OpenStreetMap, which you can see here in the blue slice. Our fellows mapped for roughly five weeks and imported for a little longer in the spring cohort, and our fellows then imported and mapped simultaneously for five weeks in their summer cohort, with events sharing early versions of our toolkit based on their work interspersed throughout this timeline. So far, our fellows have mapped over 5,000 features. This includes over 1,300 benches, 1,000 streetlights, play and use structures, miles of paths, sidewalks, and ramps, accessibility features, and many more not listed here. You can see this picture in the density map to the right. We've also recently partnered with Mapillary, an organization specializing in the capture of street level imagery to add a visual pedestrian perspective to our mapping efforts. Our imagery is available via the Mapillary data layer on OpenStreetMap, and we've also begun uploading to Google Street View via Street View Studio. So we're excited to see where this goes. Since launching the Mapping for Equity project last year, We've had the wonderful privilege of sharing several versions of our drafted toolkit to various stakeholders, ranging from elementary school students at the Friends Seminary, 
to high schoolers at the High School for Environmental Studies during Earth Week and to the general public. We even had the chance to be covered by a reporter from The Gothamist during our Open Data Week 2023 mapping showcase last March, which was open to everyone. More recently, at our summer mapping showcase in August, we were happy to share our draft toolkit with our project partners, the North Wilkin Parks Alliance and Council District 34, as well as members of the general public who attended. This was held in North Brooklyn, and it was an important first step for us to sharing our growing toolkit with local stakeholders. It was a wonderful time spent mapping a local park in public housing and discussing open space equity. It was a positive sign, and it's only the start of much more to come in the near and far future. Um, thank you so much for staying tuned so far. Um, if you're interested in learning more, please reach out to us at cif at beta.nyc. That's cif at beta.nyc. If you're interested in testing out our toolkit, or if you'd like to bring this to your community, we'd love to hear from you. We also plan to share a more updated version of our toolkit with a two-part event during the upcoming NYC Open Data Week 2024 from March 16th to the 24th. So please do check out the official site if you're interested. So thanks again. Um, the link is on the screen. Um, it was awesome sharing with you what we're doing in our corner of the OpenStreetMap world and community in this short time. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to sharing even more in the near future. Yes, um, I think that brings us to the end. Thanks again for listening. Um, are there any questions? Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, Dimitri. Um, really cool work. Awesome. Um, looking to see if there's any questions. We have a few minutes left in the session. Um, Thank you, Nicole. Ah, are you using every door street complete? Oh, yeah, we're actually not using um, other apps currently to supplement the way that we're mapping. We're being very old school, just like going straight to OpenStreetMap after we canvas a space. Um, one thing that we're looking to do in the near future is to actually use some of the mapillary imagery that we've created to map remotely. But we're really interested in maybe discovering more tools that can help us with this project. So do reach out if you'd also like to share that. Any thoughts on how this could work in a less dense city? That's really interesting. I think this is really just, this can happen um, really anywhere that there's a drive and an effort to map. I think as long as you have um, access to OSM and you have a few field papers and you have a team of people, you can really just go out there and work in any space. So I don't think you really need a dense city to do this. I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah. We have a I question. Dave oh, go ahead. And raised. Oh, sorry, Quincy, if I'm cutting in. <laughs> uh, we have a question on um, on Slack from Sean W. that says, love the project. Do you plan on doing some analysis on the data to see what sort of inequalities or inequities exist in amenities? Yes, I'm so happy you asked that. That's exactly like that's that's the next step of our toolkit. We're really right now just we've been starting some light analysis, just getting counts and seeing where we found the most features and what that map looks like. But we're really super interested in moving forward with more spatial analysis in the future. And it's really the sum of this work. Okay, thank you for the great questions so far. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot of interest here. Um, Sean W says uh, that you guys need to sync up on that. They're planning uh, to map public parks in Phoenix and do analysis on that. <laughs> Amazing, uh, yes, please do reach out. We're so open to communication. <laughs> uh, we do have another minute. Um, do you have any lessons learned or surprises um, from going through this process that you might want to share? I think the biggest thing is just how much more awareness of our open space we have when we interact with it regularly. Since starting this project, um, myself and our fellows, we've all reported just having so much more appreciation for like the simple things that we might take for granted, like a curb cut or, you know, proper pavement a fire hydrant, a street light, these things that we oftentimes 
maybe don't pay very strong conscious attention to, but that when you start looking at more explicitly, you realize that they really shape our pedestrian experience and how we move through the world. Great. We're, go we're going to have to leave it there. But thanks so much for being with us, Dimitri. Awesome. Thank you, Quincy.